Uh, well, Transportation Safety Board Chair Wendy Tadros, the woman that uh, Giuseppe just mentioned, joins me now on the phone live from Lac Megantic. And Wendy, thanks for taking time to speak with us. It's no problem. Uh, I guess the first question I'd like to ask you, it's even possible this time to answer, how much of your investigation will involve what happened before the train derailed? We are going to look at everything in the sequence of events. So we'll go back as far as we need to go in order to determine uh, why the train derailed. At this point in time, have you had a chance to interview any of the engineers that were on the train? We're interviewing about 45 people. So we will interview everybody who had any, anything to do with this, including uh, people in the company. Wendy, so we'll interview whoever we need to. Right. Uh, obviously, there's a criminal investigation going on in conjunction with the TSB's investigation. How much do you work alongside the police in situations like that? And also, how much, uh, I guess, cooperation is necessary to fully complete your investigation? Well, we've done this before. We did this with Swiss Air, with the RCMP, and so it's something that uh, that we're used to doing. Each organization has their own job to do, and we cooperate to the extent that we're able to. So, for instance, in terms of sharing photographs and things like that, there's full cooperation. In terms of witness interviews, we're limited by our legislation, so those do not get shared with the police. And so there's a whole protocol in place to determine um, who does what and what gets shared and what doesn't get shared. Okay, I, want, I don't want to get into too much of a legal area. However, when it comes to protocol, should the police find something that they deem of uh, a criminal nature, uh, can they reveal that to you if it impacts your investigation? Uh, yes, certainly they can reveal it to us. Okay. And in that case, then, let's talk about the potential for an act of sabotage in this case. How can you determine whether, it, given what's happened here with the devastation, how is it possible to determine whether it's sabotage or negligence? Well, we don't determine either of those. That's for the police. We're doing a safety investigation to determine what happened and why and to see what needs to be done to make the system safer. If so in terms of any investigation, what you do is you go through all of the evidence, and that's what we'll be doing. Well, then I guess obviously in, in the case, in the course of your investigation, should you come across uh, something that indicated criminality, you would turn it over to the police. Um, similarly, if they come across something that would indicate that the safety issue was an issue in this case, they would turn it over to you? Well, that, that all depends on exactly what it is, but it's, it's their job to determine if there's criminality. So they will be going through everything, and that is their skill set. That's what they're capable of of doing that's what they do day in, day in and day out. So, Wendy, at what point in time does the regulations that um, Montreal Marine Atlantic uh, use to govern their train systems, uh, I guess, supersede or take precedence over what the Transportation Safety Board has in place? We're not a regulator. We're an independent accident investigator. So the regulator for federal railways is Transport Canada. So they set all the standards for operation of federal railways in Canada. So regardless or irregardless of what the, the uh, regulations are for MMA to govern their trains, it's Transportation Canada that, that has, uh, I guess, primacy in this situation, correct? That's right, in terms of the regulatory oversight. Uh, when you look so at what the... we do is we, just, we, we are an investigative body. So that's purely what we do. So, based on your uh, function as an investigative body, do you have to look at whether the rules were followed in this case under the auspices of Transport Canada? We will look at the rules that, and whether they were followed, but we will also look at the rules to see if they are adequate. Wendy, given the fact that you don't have full access to the area, and this is the last question for you, and we thank you for your time, given that you don't have full access to the area, how much of your investigation can actually get underway? Oh, we have, we have more, more work than you can imagine at the moment uh, with the access that we do have, and we should be getting access to the rest of the site as uh, time goes on. We are waiting to, to make sure that it is safe to go in there and that our people will be safe. But as soon as it is, they will be in there and they will be looking at those tank cars. All right, Wendy, I can assure you we have more than enough work at the moment.
No question. And, and like I said, we don't want to take too much of your time because I know there is a lot of work ahead of you. So we appreciate this. Thank you and good luck. Okay, thank you. Yes, yeah, bye-bye. All right. That was